Howdy y'all, it's Chris with Shell Fitness, your favorite personal trainer with a belt buckle. Today we're gonna go over how to be John Landy. Before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. If you wanna become a personal trainer, shellfitness.com, it's where great trainers are made. So how can you be John Landy? Have you ever heard of either of these fellows? Samuel P. Langley, John Landy, you probably haven't, so let me give you a little history. In the early 1900s, there's two guys, brothers, 1903, I believe, in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. First people ever to fly a plane. Samuel P. Langley was given $70,000 from the Department of War, Smithsonian, which is equivalent to about $2 million today. He was the first person to give funding to fly. He gave up after the Wright brothers accomplished their lifetime dream of flying. He gave up. This is the average personal trainer now. John Landy, he didn't give up. 1954, the impossible happened. Roger Bannister broke the four minute mile. Now people said, doctors, physiologists, it was never going to happen. Kind of like today with the marathon. I believe the record for the marathon, 201.39. Could be wrong on that one. But they're saying it's never gonna be broken. So when you put cuffs on people saying it's never going to happen. The average person is going to give up. They're not going to put their mind to it. Not John Landy. Roger Bannister in 1954 broke the four minute mile. But unlike Samuel, Samuel gave up. John kept on going and 46 days later, John Landy broke Roger Bannister's world record holding mile. When I was in high school in 2001, Adam Webb, I believe was his name, Adam Webb, he broke the four minute mile as a high schooler. Pretty nuts, right? So we want to talk about how to be John in the fitness industry, John Landy that is, because he didn't give up. The average trainer comes in, they're going to have these crazy expectations within three, four months, making hundreds of thousands of dollars, being an online trainer, all the fame and glory that Instagram and social media puts out there doesn't happen like that. So I'm gonna give you four ways that you can be successful. If you're a new trainer, if you're thinking about becoming a trainer, or maybe you're that trainer who's in a rut. You need to put your mind like John Landy, where he found out that Bannister broke that four minute mile. He didn't give up. Samuel quit, baby. John said, I'm gonna beat him. That's a successful mindset. So one of the first, I'm gonna get that in a second. One of the things I'm gonna suggest is you need an intern. Certs are overrated. If you go talk to most trainers at corporate gyms, they're going to say get NASM, get ACE. Certs are overrated unless you want to work in a corporate gym, but not in New York. In New York, you don't need to be certified. You can work in Equinox in New York and you don't need that certification. It's just a piece of paper. Interning is going to teach you the foundation of movement. So if you, It's hard to see on our board over here, but we have all the movement patterns. You have your squat, your hands, unilateral, push, pull, carry, hands, rotation. Breathing, transition, all these different types of movement that you focus on. You learn anatomy, physiology. You go through the foundation of movement and then you apply it in the gym and you work with actual people. You need an intern. And if you're a current trainer and you haven't gone through an internship, reach out to a physical therapist. Reach out to, and here we have Craig Benson. He's a spine guru in LA. See if you can intern for him. Now remember, if you're a smart trainer, go in with something. Meaning, you know, bring them some coffee, bring them some donuts, and say, hey, I would love to work for free. I don't want to get paid. Some of the top success stories on trainers out there, they did an unpaid internship. You need to learn from the best. Second thing that you need to do is read. How to be a successful personal trainer. I interview top trainers in here. You need to constantly be reading. Brett Bartholomew recently just posted 200 books that every trainer should read. You need to go follow him, you need to download that, and you need to start reading it. That list of 200. Now, if you have a weak mindset, you're gonna be like Samuel, and you're gonna be like, ah, oh, that's too many books. Oh, poor me, I'm a victim, right? Or you could be like John and say, oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to read these 200 books, because at the end of these 200 books, I'm gonna be that much better of a trainer. Are you gonna be John, successful? Or are you gonna be Samuel and give up and quit? You need to read more. You're gonna have long ass days too, 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Long, oh, poor me. Or, hey, my client canceled today. I'm excited because I get an opportunity to read. I get an opportunity to work out. You get dressed like this, 
I'm wearing Lulu, belt buckle. You can't wear this in the corporate life. We are in an awesome environment. Your mindset is what's going to make you be successful. You need to get trained. And this is a big thing that I advocate in Shell Fitness is that you need to hire other trainers. Don't be like everyone else. It's too expensive. If you want to be like John, at least once a week. I understand finances could be a problem. Put aside 5% of your paycheck. That means if you made $1,000, 50 bucks. That will allow one session per week, per month, whatever. Put aside a little more and you need to get a trainer to train you. You're gonna learn different techniques. You're gonna learn how people articulate different cueing. You gotta go in there with a positive mindset. It's probably gonna be a shitty session. That's okay. Don't let them do anything that's inappropriate. Go do a thousand burpees. Ah, screw you, I'm not doing that. But you'll be able to learn something from that individual. Top trainers are constantly learning and getting trained. You gotta get trained. Last but not least, which just blows my mind, you need to help others. People get into this and I wanna help people. You dig a little deeper and they just hated their prior job and they think this is gonna be an easier route. It's not gonna be an eight to five. Personal training is not that. I woke up this morning at four o'clock, bright eyed and bushy tailed, I was super excited. Got to my gym, no one's here, it's nice and quiet, minus the sunset traffic. I love getting to the gym early. I try to get to the gym two hours before my first client. Today I trained someone at seven. But you gotta focus on helping others, meaning you have a gift to get people in the best shape of their life, to change what they're probably unhappy with. You gotta change their mindset from being negative to positive. You can give them your good energy. That's a special gift. You should constantly and always, in my opinion, be training at least one person for free. Because what that does is it puts everything into perspective. I charge $200 per session here in West Hollywood. I have clients that I train regularly, but I always have at least one client that I'll train once a week for free. Because they can't afford my services, but I want to help them because I know I can. Got a couple of kids right now that are, I call them kids, but they're in their early 20s. And they want to put some size on and they can't afford training. So they come in once a week, I take them through a great workout. I still gave them that, that same service. I educate them, I take them out of their comfort zone, but I give back. And if you want to be successful, these are the four things that you need to focus on. Understand Samuel P. Langley, he was a physicist, I believe, um, inventor back in the day. He gave up because the Wright brothers beat him. Now where was his passion? Or is he doing it just for the fame and glory? And that's personal trainers today. The majority of trainers are Samuel P. Langley where they get frustrated, the first little hurdle that life gives them and they quit, this is hard. John Landy broke Roger Bannister's four minute mile 46 days after everyone said it wasn't possible. If you wanna be John, you need to intern in a place like Show Up Fitness, you need to learn movement, anatomy, nutrition, total daily energy expenditure. Don't worry about certifications, they're overrated. Everyone's seeking them today. Why? Don't be a sheep. You need to read more. Check out Brett Bead's, Brett Bartholomew's 200 books that every trainer should read. You need to get trained. Seek out trainers in your area. Go to Crunch Equinox 24 and get trained by other people. You will learn something from them, I guarantee it. Don't get bitter, get better. And last but not least, remember why you started this. It's to help others. So you have a gift to get people in the best shape of their life, train people for free. In the beginning, you're probably gonna train a lot of people for free, but I like keeping at least a couple people you can train. So, how to be John. John Landy's the man, Samuel P isn't. Make sure to follow us on YouTube. Give us any comments, suggestions, showupfitness.com, how to become a successful personal trainer.